anybody buying it. Hey guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. I just wanted to do a little favorite video. I know it's not the end of August yet, but it's it's getting close and I'm excited for fall, so I'm kind of skipping a week or so ahead of time. Um, yeah, so this is my August favorites video. First thing is something I think I actually got last month, and it is this picture that my dad drew me. It says Thanatopsis on it. This is a character that he created when he was younger. He's an artist for those of you who don't know. It's always been my favorite of any of his drawings and he used to have like all these big sketches of him and I think at one point I had them hanging up in my room and they were always my favorite. The name Thanatopsis comes from a poem by William Cullen Bryant. It's a great read. I highly suggest it, especially if you have a little bit of extra time because it is pretty long and the word means to meditate on death. So take that as you will, but I thought it was cool. My second favorite is this Halloween Hello Kitty, which we got last year. Um, I think she's totally adorable. I think I got her at Target. I really love Halloween decorations, as you will see in this video, because I think most of my favorites for this month are Halloween related. <laughs> That's one thing that I've been super excited about, is being able to kind of bring out my Halloween decorations again and have them around. My next favorite are these uh, arts and crafts things that we got from AC Moore. I colored this one right here. And Erica colored this little wind chimes. And her mom colored a little owl with a witch's hat. And it's wind chimes too. I was pretty excited to see these and they think they were only a dollar. We actually got a couple more which are also my favorite. <laughs> this one is Erica's. It's a uh, a little skeleton in a coffin and I'll do an update about these once we get them made. There's a little bat. This one is mine. It's on a suction cup so you can hang it on a window. And then we got this one for her mom and it's just like a little 3D witch. My next favorite is also Halloween related. They're starting to put out all of the autumn and Halloween scents at Bath and Body Works. Erica chose this soap and it is crisp morning air. It smells like Colorado to me, so to me it smells like home. Especially in the fall, it's a very familiar scent to me and I really like it. So I was so excited to get that soap. My next two favorites also come from Bath & Body Works and they are this hand sanitizer and it's the scent Franken Kitty. It is a candy apple scent and it smells like apple, like green apple, but it smells like green apple mixed with like spices that are related to um, to autumn. It smells incredible. I keep it in my pocket uh, when I go to work, so people are always like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And I'm like, oh, I just sanitized my hands. My other favorite is obviously a favorite. You've already seen it. Um, it's this heirloom pumpkin candle. It smells so good. I love anything pumpkin scented or kind of related to autumn like that except sometimes I really hate when they smell too sweet it like makes me sick to my stomach but that one smells awesome it's perfect it's like nicely spiced I guess would be the right word one of my last favorites is a TV show I've been watching I watch it on Netflix so anybody who has Netflix you guys can totally check it out it also comes on investigate discovery the channel on TV I wasn't really a big fan of that channel up until a couple months ago when Erica had me sit down and watch it and I ended up watching like six hours of mysteries. The show is called Disappeared. It is basically what it sounds like. It's about missing people. A lot of it is cold cases, so it's stuff they never discovered. I've been getting super into that, except it does kind of make me extra paranoid and I'm already paranoid enough as it is, so I still like it. <laughs> My last favorite for the month is our new fish. His name is Arnold. He is so cool. He is a beta and um, and we got him a two and a half gallon tank. A lot of people I guess think that a beta comes in a small bowl so it can live in one but I've read that that's really mean. It's very, it's, it's closely compared to buying a puppy or adopting a puppy at a pet store and then putting them in a cage because that's what they live in at the pet store. That's kind of 
a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, a puppy is totally different than a fish. They're both living creatures. They both deserve to be happy. So we got him a two and a half gallon tank. I did it up like a Halloween scene and I think it's awesome. He seems to like it. So I will be giving you guys periodic updates on Arnold if you're interested. Um, I will probably do it anyway, even if you're not interested. But yeah, so those are pretty much all my favorites for August. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!